It's a nice day here in Magnolia, so we decided we're going to make some pizza out here uh, in the driveway, do a little driveway camping. I'm going to do a quick pizza dough recipe, and we're going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, the first thing we have is caputo flour. Get this from Amazon. Also have uh, the yeast, also from Amazon, and caputo. For our tomato sauce, I'm using Cento brand, crushed. Um, get that at grocery store. So we've got five grams of yeast, 20 grams of salt, got some warm water, 626 grams, and then we're gonna mix that all up. And that was a 2.2-pound bag of flour. When the dough finished mixing, boil a new bowl, put the dough ball in it, and let it rest for about three, three and a half hours at room temperature. Once you're done with that, you can portion them out, and these are about 235, 230 grams each get ready to cook. Here you can see some of the ingredients that we're going to use uh, for some of the pizzas. And now we're going to try something new. This is going to be a Reuben style pizza. And I'm actually using, uh, you can see in the background, I've actually made a bunch of pizzas from the dough that uh, we were using. And that dough, like I said, rested for about an hour before I started cooking. So grand total four hours of rest time, room temperature. So here I'm flattening out actually some uh, gluten-free flour that I made um, and I'm using a little roller because uh, you, you can't really stretch it because there's no gluten so you got to flatten that with a roller get it nice and thin and even and uh, so this you know make sure you if you're doing it this way um, make sure that you have your board uh, well floured uh, because that stuff is very sticky so once we get this thing kind of the way we want it we're going to dress it and we're going to dress it with the standard Reuben ingredients. So here I'm getting it on my peel and you can see it's pretty sticky and that work surface that I have there is actually a uh, marble, a big marble tile. It's a, uh, you know, I got that from the tile store. But anyways, here we're putting on some Thousand Island dressing. Um, you know, you could spread that out if you want to. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Next, I'm getting some corned beef. And the corned beef is just going to be kind of spread on there, however you, you know, however much you think you want. This is kind of an experiment for us, so giving it a go, see how it turns out. Uh, I think I put two slices. I got this from the deli at the at the grocery store. Uh, once we get done with the corned beef, uh, next will be the cheese, and instead of obviously mozzarella for a regular pizza, we're going to use Swiss cheese. And again, I got this from the grocery store at the deli. Uh, nothing special about it, just regular Swiss. Uh, I'm going to put a couple slices on there. I think that's probably enough. And then it's going to go into the oven. And the oven is about 650, 700 degrees. And we're going to let that go for about three, three and a half minutes.
it's time to top it with sauerkraut. This will make the uh, Reuben. Uh, this is sauerkraut that we've got from the grocery store. Organic, nothing fancy. You get whatever kind you like. Put however much on there that you like. We're not putting too much. A couple of spoons, I think, is all. Um, now it's time to slice it up and enjoy. Uh, this is a. Um, this turned out really good. Uh, we're definitely going to do this again. And those of you who like uh, Reuben pizza or Reuben sandwiches, I think you really ought to give this a go. So here you can see uh, the finished product. And man, this thing was good. And here's just a regular pepperoni pizza. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, happy camping to you. Please comment below and tell me what you thought.